Behind every aha moment, there's an instant of cognitive reframing. Reframing is a skill that's critical for learning, for change, and for being able to solve problems. So it's a skill that every leader and facilitator needs to master. Reframing means changing the way that you look at something. It's a process for restructuring the way that you think, and it's drawn from therapeutic psychology. Here's an example. Angie is stressed because of changes that are happening in her workplace. At the moment, what she's doing is focusing on the upside of doing things the way she always has. She's looking at the downside of the change. Learning how to reframe her thinking will help Angie be able to see the upside of change and the downside of keeping things the way they are. Not everyone has learned how to reshape their thinking in this way though. It's a skill that we acquire from life experience and from having good role models as we're growing up. But the good news is that anyone can learn how to reshape their thinking at any age. So let's go back to Angie. There are four micro skills that she needs to master. The first is self-monitoring, noticing what she's saying to herself and the impact that this has on the way that she feels. The second skill she needs is to question the assumptions behind her self-talk because her assumptions are probably being influenced by negativity bias. Once she's realized what she's assuming about her situation, she can start analyzing the pros and cons and assessing whether that way of interpreting the situation is helpful to her. And that will then put her into a position where she can begin to think of alternatives and to feel more empowered about making the change successful. As you can see, if you want people to be optimistic, resilient and capable of implementing change successfully, it really does help to foster their ability to reframe and restructure their own thinking. We don't want people to become dependent on coaches or facilitators. We want them to learn how to learn for themselves. And that's the gift that we give them when we're teaching people how to restructure. If you want to learn more about how to help people to reframe and restructure their thinking, a really good starting point is positive psychology and models of learned optimism. Another favorite skill of mine is being able to do meta model questioning, which is a technique that comes from neuro-linguistic programming and teaches you how to listen really carefully for assumptions in what people are saying so you can challenge those assumptions artfully in ways that encourage a really nice, healthy way of restructuring thinking. So if you'd like to learn anything else about these skills, come along to one of my masterclasses for trainers and facilitators, or you could get started right now by downloading my Positive Psychology Toolkit for HR and L&D practitioners. Click on the link below to get your copy.